yeah, it keeps getting better. I keep using the word spicy, but that's a good word for Scheherazade. Let's spice this up a little bit. And not every single beat on the ground. Let it be off the ground a little bit more. We're getting there. And then you have your solo. You want to do that? feel to you? I feel like I'm not as swept up in it as I should be. Okay. I don't know if it sounds this way, but I feel like I'm still being cautious when I play. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. So it should be, sometimes it's hard when we have like, do whatever you want, a piacere, do it, you know, we're used to, it has to be done this way. This is a moment where make the orchestra wait for you and enjoy it, but it has to be as natural and organic as a leaf falling from a tree. So when you see a leaf fall, fall from the tree, it falls and then it gets faster as it nears the ground, right? You need to be the leaf, but not planned. When you see a leaf from a fall from a tree, it doesn't do this, it's, and it just falls. So let it all just happen how you feel it the most. It should be about heart, it should not be about head. Okay, let's try it. about that Better. okay how about making the first and the second one different mm -hmm. so if you want to take more time on the first how about less on the second okay. let's experiment with that see how that feels to you have something that sounds like one phrase mm -hmm. instead of two separate ones you know that are sim well that are too similar now the whole thing is more cohesive okay now a little bit more fluidity at the very beginning if technical things happen right now don't worry about it it's about the musical aspect of it but let's see if you can um, just have more fluidity at the beginning not quite so hesitant That should feel that should be feeling more natural yeah good for you um, so remember that it might be at the very beginning of the solo that it's going to be more in tempo because the apia cherry starts then on the next bar so just be ready for that you might actually be given that amount of time okay beautiful nice um why don't we do your solo at the end the scherzando Do it just like that. You can be even louder if you want. Okay, it's kind of just this, it's the kind of ending where you think probably the audience is smiling. You know, you wanna make them smile. It's just kind of a uh, real cute ending. And then setting up for the very serious next movement. Okay, um, why don't we just start it so you guys can you know, play out a little bit as a section. Yeah, how much can you give on that final sforzando? We don't want a sforzando, a low C sharp, I get it, but you have to, that's what's there. And that's a sforzando within fortissimo. So that's some serious percussive playing, right? And even the accents, accents within fortissimo. Clearly, you know, um, the, the, the energy of the last movement has left the room. Let's do it. One, two. Okay, this is also a good opportunity. Maybe my tempo is not exactly what you're doing in the orchestra, but I feel you're ahead of it. I want to feel you be like so sturdy, you know, explore the backside of the beat that I'm giving you. Because again, accented fortissimo, and this is not um, a, a character that has whimsy. This is a, you know, and you are representing that character. Okay, one, two. 
Yeah, you feel it in the eighths? Okay, dig in guys, dig in. You're gonna have to do that a lot in this piece. Okay, one, two. Yes, now what you're playing has like structure and so much more meaning. Like I'm starting to envision um, this painting. That's so good.